What's going on guys? Welcome back to the vlog. We get comments and like most people get their stuff super, super quick, but you'll have some people that waited two or three weeks. Uh, some people at like the longest somebody's waited is like four weeks and then they're like, oh my gosh, ship my stuff out. You don't ship anything out. You'll wait forever. Telling everybody in the comments, you're gonna wait forever to get your stuff. Look how much stuff we're shipping out. You can't, okay, it's packed to the roof front to back. Do you guys realize how massive one of these Escalades are? This is the extended version. Can't even open the door, there's boxes falling out. I mean, this thing is packed to the gills. Even my front seat has boxes. This door. Packed, you can see the boxes through the window. I'm not even gonna open the whole trunk, I'm just gonna open the glass. Look how packed this thing is. And guys, this car is huge. I think it is like the biggest American SUV you can buy. We are shipping stuff like absolute craziness. Like this is an everyday routine. So I hope you guys fully understand we are shipping as fast as possible, but you have to keep in mind, we are not Amazon and we do not have hundreds of thousands of employees to be able to keep customers so content and so spoiled that they get their packages in two days. Like we wish we could offer that right now. We're trying our best but two-day shipping is just not something that we do shipping from our house. Just so you guys can understand, we are working as fast as we can. Orders are going out like absolute craziness. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Look at this thing, got it all shiny and clean, looking fresh. I've actually got a bunch of stuff in this thing and I'm, I use this thing more like a truck than like most of my vehicles, if I'm being honest. So, open the Cadillac. And then I've got a bunch of hog feed in here, chicken feed, tree stands. I mean, I've got all kinds of stuff in here. So we're gonna get this all unloaded, get this put in the barn, and then we're gonna get to assembling these tree stands and set up a perfect hunting spot for Mrs. LNP. We got the tree stand assembled. However, I didn't get the secondary stand, but I'm just gonna wait and assemble that and hang it up on our way into the stand for the first time, um, just because it's not gonna be a big deal. It's just a hang on stand. We're gonna hang in the tree next to this one. And it only weighs, what, 15 pounds? This thing even has cup holders, dog. <laughs> what do you mean they don't have cup holders back in the day? Right there was beautiful. The small one right here? Yeah. Honestly though, like, it would be a shame though if like a tree fell down while somebody's in it because you would definitely like probably die. We've got this little tree, it's a little on the sketch side, but it, it would work. I just don't know how alive it is. It looks fine. And then you've got this tree, which could work, but that looks a little sketchy. There's a <laughs> hole in the tree. I don't know, we're gonna pick a tree, get this thing going up. Just between you and me, I might have peed myself just a little bit. If that duck comes over here and like pounces on the slider, I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> I mean, the view up here is freaking crazy. Oh my gosh, she's gonna be my spot. She thought I was setting it up for her, but this is a good spot. Always get in the tree stand and use the chainsaw. <laughs> you have a deer like come over to your right side you can't get any shots i mean i'd be able to get a jump my crossbow but like you're on your own girl no this is your only spot you and bear can have this stand and that's the only one you can hunt right bear bear shake on it okay 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 i get it i get it there's the spot good location good location you should have showed him the view from up there yeah. Then again, I don't really want to give away the location just in case, you know, but I've showed this place so many times. We've seen deer cross the river and pop out right here yeah. lots of times. Deer... Take a doe with my compound. I don't even freaking care at this point. You remember last year when we went deer spotting, we sat over there by the pond and we yeah. had deer pop out right here and they just yeah. came right out along this edge. They do that a lot. So we're mm -hmm. hoping that this is a good spot for her, especially like if she has times and she wants to sneak over here and get in the stand and like I can't go out and she wants to get in something real easy. Or if somebody's running late to the stand and you don't want to like 
venture off to the back of the property through everything and it's like a prime hour and you're just trying to get a last minute set in, you can get into this spot and literally the driveway is right behind this corner here. So it's not like you have to go through the whole property to get to it. At the last minute, I mean, you can see a good amount of action here. He's ready to see something really nerve wracking to watch. I'm glad you're all just as excited as I am. The game we're gonna be playing is try not to hit the first gym, and it's just as sketchy as it sounds. Okay guys, we're gonna be filming the rest of this video right here and I thought, you know what, this would be something fitting with the video for today, which was setting up a tree stand and you know, having to do with archery season coming up and all this stuff, you know, Archer's Eve for us, which is essentially almost better than Christmas Eve, starts on September 14th because we have an urban property that we hunt in here in the state of Indiana. So we are getting ready for bow season, which starts in just a couple days and we are gonna be shooting through the cab of the first gen. Now, quick disclaimer before anybody has a panic attack or freaks out, okay? You guys know very well that if anything were to ever happen to this truck, which it's not going to, but if anything were to happen to this truck, I would fully replace, repair, and make sure everything is perfect before one of you took this thing home. I'm not gonna like shoot my bow, have an arrow go through this freaking seat, and not have a new, all new upholstery done on the interior. If I did that, I would literally just take it to my upholstery guy and have him put all new leather interior in the truck exactly like it looks here. It would just be factory F-150 leather interior back over the seats and redo everything. You guys get the idea. If anything were to happen, it would be fixed like new. Now my original thought was to keep the doors closed and just shoot through the windows and the only thing that I thought was, I'm like, wow, that, that could really suck because I don't know how much my arrow is gonna have to jump and these first gen windows are super small. They're like, I wanna say 20 inches maybe, top to bottom. If you look at the arc of an arrow when it goes, when it jumps and kinda comes back down a little bit at 20, 25 yards, I have this really strong feeling there would be a much greater chance I send an arrow through the top of the cab or something. But you know what, how about we try it first, shooting six shots through the cab with the door open on both sides and Obviously, you'd have to be a pretty horrible shot to hit the truck, but if you look in reality, the gap between the steering wheel and the seat is only about 10 inches. Okay, so in terms of width, with the target that I'm shooting, which is right there, between the seat and the steering wheel is only about 10 inches. Now, I do have lots of vertical, so I've got about 30 inches of vertical between the seat and the cab to let the arrow kind of arc and go down and not hit the truck. So let's get to shooting. Yeah, and look, I didn't hit the truck but I did want the clickbait. Guys, I had no intentions of actually shooting a truck. It was all just for fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. The last little bit there, I just kind of like, I was literally like looking out the window. I'm like, I wonder how I should end this video out. I'm like, you know what? Let's just shoot arrows through the first gen cap and just like, I don't know. I just thought maybe it would be a little entertaining and maybe aggravate a few people telling me how I shouldn't damage somebody else's truck, even though it's in my name and I cover all the costs associated with the truck while it's in my possession so if I would have done anything to it it's my truck to fix anyways. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you want to win this truck, we did not shoot with my bow. Every $1 right now is 10 entries to win the truck, but this is your last 24 hour reminder to get 10X entries. And like I said, the last giveaway, we started it out with $1 was one entry, which is the normal, but this one we're starting it out high. So if you want to get 10X entries, get your 10X entries, lnpgear.com, link in the description. Grab anything off the store, literally anything off the store, and every $1 will get you 10 more entries until tomorrow, September 13th at 11.59 p.m. Then 10X entries are over. The overall giveaway itself though, just to be clear, ends on October 7th. So the giveaway ends in approximately 24-ish, 25 days. So it's not a very long giveaway as it is. It's pretty short, don't waste any time. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video, peace.